Hi, this is Nikki, and I'm here to do an energy read for um, Divine Counterparts and us. So, basically, down the left-hand side, I do um, what they are thinking, feeling, wanting. And this is using the Sandra Arn Taylor Energy Deck and also the Rider Waite Tarot. So, also um, for a clarifier. And also then saying for us what we're thinking, feeling, wanting... And then the energies that are in the middle. And um, what I just want to say is this, that if you watch this morning's videos, because all my videos go off from one to the next to the next, um, I pulled a fairy card from the fairy oracle deck, and it was number 47 for the guidance today, and it was the oak men. Now, when I pulled the card, to, I was just doing this just to have a look, and then I thought... Because it came out with the number 47 of what's in their minds, I was like, okay, well, I have to share this because I know that others will want to see it as well. So basically what's in their mind is you, basically. And note that it is the thinking woman. So it's like we're both thinking of each other. We're both thinking about our transformation. We're just both thinking about the wisdom that we've opened up for each other. We're both thinking that our hearts are open and we're going through a heart healing, that, that she's all in green. And we're thinking as well about all of this transformation that is happening and has been happening since we've been awakened to this journey. Um, no, it's also number 11. And then when I asked the clarifier um, from the tarot about this is that, you know, on the flip side of that is that Thinking about you, but also that provide that also gives sleepless nights because it is wanting to have basically um, wanting the anxiety to go because actually just wanting to be in the relationship now, wanting the transfer transformation to happen now so that we can be together, and so um, there is a anxiety here because this hasn't happened. And so all of the things that have to happen in order for us to come together is what's on their mind, which is why they're having sleepless nights. Um, because then what's at the heart of them is this, this combination basically of the masks are off, in which case, you know, change has to happen. Um, again, it's, it's you, it's the woman holding a coin, the coin of truth. So um, it is about knowing that you are right at the heart of them. And it is that, you know, that basically the energy that they're taking from the union energy is, you know, this heart-based, loving, romantic, gorgeous connection, which is also number five, which is all about change. So you can see that they have two fives on their side. Five and five in between uh in five and five either side of the six so six is the love path you holding the coin of truth on either side is the masks are off because the energy that i really want is to have this loving caring connection and i want to be that for you and because i can't at the moment and that's all i'm thinking about is giving me sleepless nights because the other thing, then I asked for clarification for from the tarot about what's going on in their heart. And the heart is celebrating. You know, the heart is wanting to celebrate this, the outpour of emotions. Um, because the masks are coming off more and more and more. And the celebration of the heart, because the door is opening to the heart. And the more that we open our heart chakra, the more that we are aligned to our truth you know the woman holding the coin of truth the more that 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 is happening within their heart uh the more that they're wanting to come out of the chains of their life because how do i know that because what they're wanting is to walk away to end this cycle right the cycle the wheel of fortune is turning they want their new cycle to start. They want to, you know, basically end the karmic cycle that they're in at the moment. Close the chapter. Close the door on anything that isn't. If you look, she's looking pink, unconditional love. 
and um, so they're wanting to move on to the next, you know, they're wanting the, the, the twist of the wheel and the twist of fate to close the gate behind them so that they can move into this sort of loving, much more heartfelt, much more centered connection with you, where they can really celebrate in love and not live behind a mask. So really lovely. Now on our side, <laughs> it is five. So we have three fives, right? Three fives. And in order to, so we have strength, you know, we have courage, we have strength and courage because we know that we're here to be love warriors. And so we know that we are here to ground these relationships. And look, when I asked for a clarifier, it was the two of cups. So, you know, so on our side, we have the two of cups because that's what we're thinking about. We're thinking about this incredible spiritual connection that we have and that we are so lucky to have that and to find that and to be part of this journey. And that they had, so we've got the two of cups in our minds and they have the three of cups in their heart space. We have the two of cups and the angel of strength. So it's saying, we know that we've got the strength, what it takes to see us through, right? We know we have the strength to make the changes into our, in our life that take us on the path to the two of cups, to the spiritual union. Because what's in our heart space, and it is, <laughs> look at this, it's like the, the warrior. We're wanting to move forward. You know, we're wanting to be the love warrior, move forward, um, open the door fully to ev all of the abundance and manifestation. Again, really, really in, uh, totally in line with this morning's message about with this divine love connection, we're literally creating, the energy is creating a super fast frequency highway to manifestation of everything. You know, that's abundance, that's, you know, abundance in wealth, health, happiness, joy, everything. And so the fact that this and the way that you create that is via the heart because the heart, the heart frequency and the love frequency is getting stronger and stronger and stronger, which is literally because then at the heart of us, we're opening this doorway to value. 31 is number four. Four is about grounding this love onto the planet. So what do we have? We have this desire, if you see, it's five of pentacles at the heart of us. So we don't want to be out, left out in the cold, right? We don't want to feel like we're being left out in the cold anymore, which is why we want to charge forward into the union. And we want to basically um, be together, basically, charge forward, through, smash through the doors to, because we've opened the heart space and we want our strategy as to how we're going to come back together. But you see, these cards are here because that is all written in your heart. The change will happen because it is part of your destiny. And so how the plan comes together, it's about believing in divine timing and believing that you have the power um, of the twin flame energy within you. And so the overall guidance is to have patience which is, I know, very exhausting at some times because it's like, seriously, <laughs> I just need to be patient. Um, but there really is about, there really is um, peace in surrendering fully and just saying, you know what, I don't know how this is going to happen. I don't know when it's going to happen, but I do know it will happen. And just being able to say that and repeat, repeat, repeat. You know, I don't know when, I don't know how, but I know it will. This is what this card is saying. Put your faith in a higher power that is going to make it happen. Because there is a definite what we're wanting. Look at this, the magician, the magic, the manifestation. You know, the manifest, look at the magician, he also has everything. He has the pentacle, he has the cup, he has the wand, he has the infinity, he has endless love and endless power to manifest. The, uh, you know, basically their chemical marriage. He's got everything in his hands. So 
it's so basically you are the magician to step through into this union energy into the golden energy so there is a little bit of feeling you know here tells a story right there is still within us we have this little bit of feeling i'm a bit left out in the cold i still feel like i'm out in the shadow rather than fully into the golden energy and this is the guidance it's saying look it's all right have patience because actually what this is showing is is that you have the power to manifest now because the energy again at the heart of the union is the strategy is written in your heart this is here to have your basically at the heart of you if you're in a twin flame connection or divine love connection then it really is here to ground a very romantic and intimate new divine love onto the planet and therefore change will happen but that ch that change to make the change is all supported by divine energy number three what's grounding this entire read so if you just think about that i mean there's quite a lot of balancing going on here because in our head it's like strength because we know we've got this incredible spiritual connection we don't want to feel left out in the cold anymore we want to charge forward we want the strategy to be together because we know that the masks are off right we know that we set we want to celebrate this love um, what they're wanting on their side is for the wheel of fortune to go in their favor for their karmic cycles to end so that they can walk through the gate and not look back basically very much about closing the gate and not looking back so the energy that's grounding the whole reading is then this sense of i don't know how this is going to happen and it's not really indecision what it is is that i can't see a way forward right but that's why the strategy you don't have to know all you have to know is that the strategy is written into your heart it's like a gps homing device and you will guide each other home so have patience because it's coming in divine timing and then after then um the tarot is the two of wands which is about saying look it's in divine timing because there is a spiritual journey that you're on and this is you know trusting in that crystal ball that's holding it, that he's held it in his hands and he's looking out to see basically and to know that the ships are coming home so i'm just going to read the description um, around the two of wands because this one is particularly um with this one is just you know spot on so the man on the Two of Wands card is looking out over a great distance and often is thought of as Christopher Columbus before he set sail on his voyage. There is a long road ahead of you and there is a need for you to take time to plan your course of action. Be certain of the direction you are taking and possible hurdles that will need to be overcome. Know that the path you are on right now um, is one that is good for you. But without your own input or a direction, you will easily find your way off course. So what they're saying is, is that every single day ask to be put on your highest and best path. Ask to be shown your spiritual path for your highest good. Because this is a time to keep following your spiritual